ABC, it's Billy. Um, God, look at the bags under my eyes. Um, it's super late. Actually, it's super early. Um, I stayed out super late last night. I had to work, uh, play music, <clears throat> doing a uh, monstrous VCLT package from Bill, aka Helmet Diggy, aka what the hell, Gosler Ollendorf, <laughs> or AKA Cowboy Bob Orton, because that's what I think of when I read Gosler Ollendorf. I don't know why, but I automatically think of Cowboy Bob Orton. Um, anyway, this came late yesterday, and it's huge. My uh, postal delivery guy busted a nut pulling it out of the uh, out of the truck, and he hates you. So, but I love you. Dude, if this is all records in here, man, um, that's that's way, way too much. Um, anyway, my videos tend to be long and boring and rambling, so I'm going to try and bust into this real quick. But anyway, uh, Bill, um, I, I love your channel, man. I think it's hilarious. Uh, I know you hate making videos, and I think a lot of us hate making videos because of the it, just the the sheer work and effort that goes into it I mean I don't know it's, it's more of a pain in the ass than anything but it's kind of a kind of a love-hate relationship with a lot of us I think um, so I'm gonna tear into this package dude it's a monster man uh, like I said this came late yesterday um, probably 430 and I could have just opened it and uh, you know, in, in enjoyed it, but uh, I, I did send you a text to let you know that it came through. I think you were out digging yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I just noticed. I just noticed that it says Billy Thrust on. <laughs> that is so badass, Billy Thrust. Uh, I, I might have to change my uh, stage name because I, I play I play music around here locally. And I just, you know, always market it or advertise it as Billy Hurst. Uh, or I'll sometimes get crazy and call it, you know, like the Thrill Billy uh, country music extravaganza or some something crazy like that. But, dude, Billy Thrust, that's killer that you put that on here. Anyway, this came last night, <laughs> late last night, about 4.30. And uh, I had to get out and play. Uh, I had to leave around 6 to uh, <coughs> to go set up. And that's why I look so shitty and sound so shitty because I'm just waking up. But I couldn't wait to open this. Um, anyway, let's let's tear into this baby. Uh, I was out late last night. It was, a, it was one of those. Oh, I got it backwards here. Let me turn it, turn it around. Make it easier to work with so I can see what I've got. Dude, this is like Christmas, man. Christmas all over again. Stiffener. Note. Oh, the note's inside the package. Pull the note aside here. Little love letter that people don't need to see. Um, it's cool. <laughs> I see a couple here. Sticks. The serpent is rising. Um, I, obviously, Bill watches my videos, which is great. I would hope that I'm not making these videos and nobody's watching um, but I had uh, made a video a while back about um, having a listening party with some friends and um, one of our one of my buddies picked out uh, the Paradise Theater and I had never listened to it and was completely blown away by uh, by, by the what was on there so I went out and picked out picked up a couple other sticks uh, what's great is I don't have this um, I have um, Paradise Theater um, Crystal Ball pieces of eight and is it grand illusion uh, anyway like I said I don't claim to be the world's biggest sticks fan but I, I I really enjoy the music and thank you man that's that is much appreciated that's awesome uh, another sticks man of miracles nice and and I'm assuming are these um, these are Dennis DeYoung um, 
primarily. Is this before Tommy Shaw came around? Um, I, I, like I said, I'm not sure. This all looks like Dennis DeYoung stuff, so earlier stuff. Yeah, no, no Tommy Shaw on these. Um, I have yet to kind of dig into them enough to know which one I prefer. I know that some diehards um, are like one way or the other, but I, I am give or take. Yeah, these are both. Uh, these both look, look like they're just. Um, Dennis DeYoung, yeah, no, no Tommy Shaw on these, but dude, that that's killer. I appreciate those, man. That's that's awesome. Uh, that's very thoughtful of you. Oh, brother. Now I think we had talked about this. This is uh, this is awesome, dude. A sealed copy of Don Williams. I believe in you. Um, I'm sure you, you've all heard the the uh, the title track. Uh, I believe in love. I believe in babies. I believe in mom and dad, and I believe in you. What a great voice. What a great singer, man. Uh, I had the chance to see him about four years ago. And, uh, dude, is, he sounds so good. And, man, I can't, I've got a copy of this, but obviously this is a, this is a major upgrade. And soon to be a, in, a, in a featured in a seal to reveal. Thank you, Bill. That is freaking awesome, man. That is great. Oh. Man, you, you, uh. You're you're coming through on this one, man. Aerosmith Pump. This has been on my want list for for a long time. This is a uh, an American pressing too. Awesome, awesome. Now I just have to get uh, get a grip, which um, that's that's on my list, dude. You're it's like I'm not even. I'm just looking at them one at a time here. You're blowing me away. Dynasty, and this is a this is a newer uh, reissue. Um, now, is this the? Yes, this is a Kiss uh, Kiss reissue on Back to Black. Um, oh, what does it have the poster too? Has it inner poster? Bad ass man, killer. Um, this was one of the uh, Kiss albums that I did not have, um, and I don't. I'm not sure. Maybe he he saw that in one of my other videos. <laughs> God, I just saw the next record. You you're too kind. He saw that in one of my other videos and uh, hooked me up, man. He hooked me up big time, dude. This is uh this is badass, man. This now this is a, a new reissue as well, which you saw in my um, stack of uh, sealed to reveal uh, coming up. I have an original pressing of uh, a live three, and I was just I was gonna open it just so I'd have one to listen to. So now now I get why you said don't open that live three. Man, I hope I can't wait to spin this. Man, this uh, this takes me back to my I had just graduated high school, and uh, we saw Kiss uh, seventh row uh, right in front of uh, of Gene. And it was myself and my girlfriend at the time, my best friend and his girlfriend. And uh, the girls were nowhere near prepared for, uh, for the shit show that they saw that night. Um, it was unbelievable. Uh, I walked away with a Gene Simmons pick that night, too. But th this is uh, musically probably my favorite, um, my favorite Kiss era, the Revenge era. These guys were so good, coming together so heavy. Um, I, I absolutely love it, and I, I love this record. Thank you, Bill, man. That is that is so killer. Oh, maybe this was the record we were talking about. Dude, two sealed copies of Don Williams. You're, early, you're like, a, you're, you're the king, man. Uh, expressions. This has the Tulsa Time, I believe. I do have a copy of this. Yeah, Tulsa Time. Um, I think that's... Oh, and it must be love. Another great song. Uh, a lot of a lot of good songs on here, but those two are phenomenal. Uh, Don Williams expression, sealed copy. Man, I hope you didn't go out and buy all these, dude, because this is uh, this is uh, amazing. Um, too 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 much, man. What is this? Willie Nelson's long-awaited tribute to his friend Lefty Frizzell. To Lefty from Willie. I've I've never heard this, but man, I can't wait. 
I can't wait to hear this. Love me some Willie too. Waylon, Willie, uh, Paycheck, Cash, Co. Dude, you can't hear wrong. Oh man, another one. Now, I, I do have this one, but this is definitely an upgrade from what I have. Willie, before his time. Um, this one, uh, I don't know. You, you, you probably won't know any. This doesn't have any of his major hits on it, but uh, it's still great to have to the collection, especially add to the collection, especially the one that I have as a beater copy. It was given to me by uh, by my aunt. She gave me a stack of records about uh, I don't know, fifteen or twenty records a few months ago, and this record was in there. But it it, it had been played uh, played well. Oh, frig, man! Look at this, Waylon and Jesse. Leather and Lace. This is one that's been eluding me for, for a while. An original copy. I just, I've just i been waiting uh, waiting to find a nice one. And this is as pretty as it gets, dude. And you're, you... Look at that. Badass, man. Bill. You gotta stop. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Christopherson, he's one of those guys that um, you either love or hate his voice. Maybe it's an acquired taste. Uh, Jesus was a Capricorn. I do not have this record. Um, don't know. Don't know. I can't say that I know off the top of my head any of any of these songs, but I'm sure it's still going to be great. Thank you, Bill. Uh, I think we did talk about this one because you told me not to. Not to get this, but that's killer. This one's been on my list forever. A little ACDC, Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap, original, uh, original pressing. Man, great. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. This has, uh, wow, all the original inner and everything. Dirty Deeds, uh, Big Balls, Rocker, Problem Child, Love at First Feel. There's going to be some rocking. Ain't no fun waiting around to be a millionaire. Uh, right on and squealer. Awesome. Good stuff, man. I, dude, you're just coming through. Oh, this is interesting here. Roy Clark, the Magnificent Sanctuary Band. What a cover. I don't, I don't, uh, don't have this. Uh, can't say that I'm familiar with it, but, uh, I'm, I do have a couple Roy Clark things, uh, and the man is as talented as as as, uh, as it comes. Uh, you know, of course, everybody probably knows him from uh, Hee Haw fame, but uh, super talented. And I'm just getting a glance down at the next record. Fuck, you're killing me, dude. You hit the Don Williams gold mine, the jackpot, brother. This is this is unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. And this this record here, um, uh, portrait has it's probably my favorite Don Williams song good old boys good old boys like me not not to be confused with uh, Waylon Jennings good old boys Dukes of Hazard theme this is what will you do with good old boys like me just great phenomenal stuff man and check out the what a what a doesn't this remind you of like your grandpa or your old uncle or something look at that coke can man that's that's uh, 1982 no, 79. I was way off on that one. Brother, this is badass, man. Nice. Very nice. Mm. And it doesn't get much better than Buck Owens. Uh, this is a uh, different comp than any of the ones that I have. I have uh, some various different comps. This is the one of the many he has on uh, Capital Label, Starline, the best of Buck Owens. Um... This, uh, I have, you know, various other comps, like, you know, Best of Volume 2, uh, Best of Volume 1, but it's not this particular one. This has uh, Love's Gonna Live Here, Fooling Around, Excuse Me, I Think I've Got a Heartache, um, I Can't Stop My Loving You, Kicking Our Hearts Around, Under the Influence of Love, Act Naturally, Under Your Spell Again, Above and Beyond, Second Fiddle, Nobody's Fool But Yours, and High as the Mountains. Like all the uh, all the capital stuff on the back, you know, promoting all the older capitals. This is on uh, probably on the classic orange. No, this is on uh, a different uh, a capital Starline label. Very nice, very cool. Um, one that I did not have. Actually, out of out of all that, man, you you hit uh, 
you hit a grand slam, brother, because uh, out of all that stuff, it was only the one Willie uh, record that I that I had. Dude, again, this is uh, this is unbelievable, man. This is like Christmas and my birthday and everything wrapped up all into one. I can't thank you enough. That I know I sent you a couple things, but that's not what it was about. I know you uh, you would enjoy them, and you obviously know I will enjoy the hell out of these, brother. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.